welcome back to my channel. My name's Paul. We're at the King Star Hotel on the East Timor border, Timor left Timor border. All ready to go. Keep other bikers here. But they're heading the other way towards Kupang, where I've just come from. I've actually put helmet cam on, but I'm going to take it off again, guys, because it's really, really wet. And, um, yeah, oh, guys, I, um, Last year my credit card got hacked, this year, just now, it's my um, travel cards got hacked. It's about a thousand dollars missing, but the bank's caught it, I'll get that money back. They've cancelled the card. Luckily I've got a second travel card I can use. Yeah guys, um, that was a bit of a stressful night trying to work all that out. Well, rain stopped for a bit, so I'll put on helmet cam. Now, last year when I was in the Philippines and that was just coincidence someone in New South Wales people must have a thing in their computer that randomly puts credit card numbers with CCV numbers on the back because the bank contacted all well, I went to book a hotel using my credit card and the bank had cancelled my credit card and when I eventually got hold of them there'd been some fraudulent charges on the card so they fixed it all but yesterday I get a message from my travel the company of my travel card saying and when I check there's about six hundred dollars missing out of the card and when I went through when we went through all the statements with the bank there's actually about a grand missing over the last few weeks I'm just terrible with money guys really bad I wouldn't have noticed if it but yes I would have noticed yesterday though because I had like five hundred and sixty dollars or something and all of a sudden I had fifty but yeah so that was the what I was talking about before yeah so twice it's happened to me just very very unlucky luckily the banks are on the ball these days and within two weeks I'll get that money back but, um, yeah, doesn't help me now. Luckily I had some money put away because I'm right at the end of the trip, right at the end of my money. Luckily Janet and I had stashed some for just these sort of emergencies. Not sure where the border is, but I'm not far from it. I've been riding maybe half an hour since I left this morning. But slowly. But yeah, the border must be pretty soon border guys now Australia came here and helped the East Timorese fight a war against Indonesia maybe 20 years ago don't get me I can't remember the dates it might have been a bit longer a bit but I always thought Australia was different to the rest of the world but I soon learned that wasn't the case because we um, and this is just what the media has led us to believe but um, once we got control of the oil, we just, um... left them to their own devices. Immigration! Customs! Immigration! Customs! Here? Timor Leste. Okay. You need my passport? Yeah. You use the carnet? Carnet, yes. Yes. Where do you come from? Australia. Okay. Go to there and then my friend will show you where you go to the stand your passport. You go just for there. Terima kasih, my friend. Thank you. And I love Indonesia. Amazing country. My visa runs out tomorrow. It's two months. You have a plan to come again? Oh yes, yes, of course. I love this country. Terima kasi. Well, we've stamped out of Indonesia. Now we just have to stamp in to Timor Leste. And then then I'll decide what I'm gonna do with the rest of the day whether I'm just going to find a hotel this morning and head off tomorrow 
go around. Yep. Anyway, we'll decide once we're stamped in. Now we just have to find immigration for Timor Leste. And I think this might be it right here. The guy said five kilometres, but it looks more like it might be right here. Timor Leste, yeehaw. It's always a bit, um, get a bit nervous doing these border crossings, I don't know why, they always go fairly easily but it does get the adrenaline pumping it just a little bit. Now I think I go this way. And that was a pretty easy process. We're stamped into Timor Leste now. And so I've just got to find a SIM card. I'm told Telemore is the best one to get here. So I'm going to find a SIM card as soon as I can and maybe a hotel. We'll see what hotels we can find. We are officially in East Timor process getting out of Indonesia into East Timor took maybe an hour. I should take more notice of the time so I can tell you guys but it was a fairly easy process. They get a lot of bikes through here, a lot of travellers so everyone knew what they were doing unlike a few places we've been. No shortage of shops that sell SIM cards for the company I want. But I can't get anyone to understand that I need data. Nobody understands what gigs means, no one understands what data means, and I am in another country, so, so you, I can't expect them to speak English, but it, it's, it's a little bit frustrating guys, but I think there's a town just in front of me, first town I've been to in Timor Leste, wow, just wow, anyway, hopefully in this town down here. I can find someone, at least with Wi-Fi, so I can use my Google Translate and tell them I need a SIM card with data on it. It's just dawned on me, well, I've known for a few days, but it's just really starting to sink in that um, once I get to Dili, which is an hour and 50 minutes away, Google Maps minutes that is, it's over. Sad guys, I have to go back to the real world. Let's hope I can find sponsorship for the Tuk Tuk adventure. But yeah guys, this is um Yeah, just a wave of sadness came over me before. It'll be great to be home with Janet. But that's the only good thing about it. Mentioned back at the border. The visa was only 30 US, so about maybe 45 Australian it was um, I thought it was 50 US and I got told yesterday that it was 59 US so 30 was a nice surprise Timor Leste uses US dollars guys so I'll be talking in US dollars a lot while I'm here well guys I wonder if this is still Timor Leste over here. I'll, I'll stop at the bottom and I'll have a look, open up Google Maps a bit wider and we will see if that is Timor Leste or whether it's another island. But let's have a look. Oh no, it's another island. Um, Alor Island. Alor. If I turn the camera on every time I saw a gorgeous view here. Look at this guys. Unbelievable. I've got another hour and 20 minutes of this. Google Maps time that is. Before we 
get to Dilly. Rocks on the road like a lot. Nothing like this one. That would have put a dent in me if it had come down as I was going past. I was told the port was about 20 minutes, half an hour from the city. So this is where we'll come and ride Libby into one of those containers. And it's all over guys. I can't believe it. And it's stuff's just coming up in my memories, Facebook memories from Bangladesh. So it's been pretty much a year guys. And it's over. Very, very sad. Like I'm happy to be going home to Janet. But I'm not happy that I have to go back to the real world. Really that was the Chong Tea Hotel. This was recommended to me, but it's 30 US a night. It's all right. It's, this is a pretty expensive town. I'm starting to realise pretty expensive country, but um, as far as Southeast Asia goes, but um, they only had one night, and the bed looked like it had been slept in. So. <laughs> I don't want to have to unpack and pack again tomorrow, so there's another apartment up the road here. Let's go and have a look. Well, oh, fuck. Um, Google Maps is useless here. I've been on two places, and two places haven't been where they are. The first one took me into the police academy. Luckily, they were all nice and friendly. I'm getting pissed off. I've been riding around here from hotel to hotel. It's like a cheap rubbish place is 50 US a night. Well guys, I found this place. It's the Hotel Colmera. 30 US a night. Really, really basic. Nothing English on the TV. It does have a fridge though that works really, really well. That's nice. Cold water. Bit of a hard mattress, but guys, beggars can't be choosers. I was starting to think I might have been have to pay sixty or seventy dollars a night, but I booked in here for four days, and uh, the freight place, the cheaper of the freight places, is just maybe five minutes from here, so I'll be heading there soon. Going to find some breakfast soon. I'm feeling pretty hungry. For now, I've got plenty of footage to make a video, so if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that Mad Dog icon up there or the subscribe button down below. Might as well hit that bell icon while you're down there. I always try and respond to your comments, so leave a comment, give me a big thumbs up, share this video everywhere you can. We'll see you in the next one.